In honor of Juneteenth, 41 Action News anchor Deja Jones takes us on a tour around Kansas City for a short version of the American, African American Heritage Trail. This online trail was created by the city and by volunteers to highlight places that played a role in African American history right here in Kansas City. Deja highlights three of those places in today's One Tank Trips. In this edition of One Tank Trips, we take you to some historic African-American staples located right in the heart of Kansas City. Located nine minutes from our news station is the Wheatley Provident Hospital, the first black-owned and operated hospital in Kansas City. Dr. John Edward Perry created the hospital for African-Americans in Kansas City, which operated from 1916 to 1972. As far as we know, this is the first hospital in the country to have all African-American doctors, nurses, and administrators. This was the building that they chose to put the original hospital in. Gotcha. And then in 1924, you can see the difference in the stone. This operated as a hospital until it became obsolete in 1972 just because of the structure itself. After closing, it was vacant for a while and then used as a haunted house. This building was set on fire twice in one day, but was saved from demolition in 2018 when the property was purchased with plans to redevelop. Although the Wheatley is private property and off limits to the public, you can still drive by and view the historic building from across the street. Our next stop, we take you four minutes away from the Wheatley to fire station number 11. This was the first and only fire station in Kansas City to be run by African Americans. This particular building opened in 1931, but the history of the Kansas City Fire Department dates back to 1858. This building is now owned by a local artist, but you can still drive by and talk about its history. Our last stop is the Black Archives of Mid-America, located two minutes up the road from the fire station. The Black Archives of Mid-America holds some of Kansas City's most unique artifacts, pictures, and memorabilia of African-American history. There's also some names you might recognize, like Dr. Perry from the Wheatley Provident Hospital. Horace M. Peterson III began the Black Archives in 1974. He first collected items in the back of his car, that collection has grown into what you see today. A new effort that is still in the works called The Story in Their Soil focuses on the lynching that occurred in Kansas City. And then on both sides of the walls, we'll have pedestals with uh, jars. And in those jars, we identify the places where people were lynched, where they were victims of racial murder and dig up some soil, the stories in the soil, put the soil in the jar, put the person's name on it. These are our collections. of Mid-America is an educational resource that provides access to its collections so that you can learn more about African-American history in Kansas City. And the best part? It's free. Whether you visit all of these stops or just one, it's important to know about all of the rich history right in our own backyard. While there are over 80 different stops on the African American Heritage Trail that was made by the city and those volunteers who worked so hard with all of the research, we've actually provided a link to that on our website and it gives you a picture, a description, and also direction so that you can drive to the locations and read up about African American history that Kansas City holds. Really, really awesome, awesome tank, one tank trip that I took there. Deja, I think Lindsay and I are both jealous because of the three of us, you're the newest to town <laughs> and also true. the only one that's been able to see all those spots. So that's it's really true, incredible. It's true, but I'm so happy to share that with both of you. So now you guys can spread the news, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I can't wait to go and take my family. Thank you very much for showing that this morning. Yes.